Hi, this is Kenan from Palo Alto Networks Education Department. Today I'm going to make a demo for client certificate authentication with Global Protect. I have five different tasks for this demo. Number one is creation of a certificate profile, which is the main object uh, for our purpose. Number two is configuring the GP objects, namely GP portal and GP gateway to utilize this certificate profile. Number three is uh, creation of a client certificate and exporting that certificate. Number four is installing the client certificate onto the endpoint. And then the last step is going to be testing. Now task one, I navigate to device tab and certificate management and certificate profile. Uh, the list is empty now. I click add. I give a simple name for my certificate profile, which is my Start profile. Okay, now there are two important things to do here. One is username field. This field, username field, is going to point a field on the certificate which will hold the common name of the user. So the options are here subject, subject alt, or none. So subject means the field the name of the field on the certificate, which will hold the common name of the user. Next, CA certificates here. This is simply a list of CA certificates. It can be uh, one CA certificate or there can be multiple CA certificates. The idea is that the client certificates should be signed by any one of those CA certificates. So here, I simply add one CA certificate, which is XNet CA, and uh, that's it. So I click OK, and here is my, my cert profile object. Then I navigate to Network tab and uh, configure the GP objects. So first, portals. I have only one portal object here. I open the object. And here is the authentication tab and client authentication. So I have two options. One could be authentication profile. The other could be certificate, uh, certificate profile. For this demo, we use certificate profile. So I select my certificate profile, which is my cert profile. I can also use authentication profile. There is going to be an additional um, authentication methods. So besides certificate, we can also require a username and passwords. But for now, I'll skip that one and simply use a certificate profile for authentication. So I close this and I navigate to gateways. So I have one gateway object here. Again, the same thing, authentication tab, certificate profile, and my certificate profile is my cert profile. And then uh, click OK. Now, the next um, job is to create a client certificate. So I navigate to device and um, certificates. So I click generate certificate name. That can be any name, actually, just to identify the certificate. In this case, it's, let's say, Canon cert. And common name is Canon Ilmaz. And then it should be signed by one of those listed CAs, in this case, XNet CA. And that's it. So I generate. And here's my client certificate. And now, next job is to export this certificate to a file. So I click export here. And file formats, the last one is my choice. And for this passphrase, I need a passphrase and one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should be minimum six character and I click OK. So here is my the, uh, certificate. I will simply copy this file to endpoint and install. So now let's uh test the the client certification here so i have a certificate file here so 
but it's not installed uh, yet. So personal tab here is empty, and here is the global protect uh, panel. So the status is not connected, and there's an error here. The message is that required client certificate is not found. So again, click, and uh, status is disconnected and not connected. Required client certificate is not found. So I click the certificate here, and welcome to the certificate import wizard. Next, this is the file. Next, this is the password for the file. Since it contains private key, I need the password. And uh, next, and accept all the defaults. Next, and finish. So the import was successful. And to refresh this panel, I simply click another tab and return back. So this is now my certificate. And I now, uh, you see the status changed to connected, so I click connect again. Between and the status is connecting, waiting, and connected. So how can we make sure that this connection is using the certificate? Well, simple answer is that we can select this and remove. Now I don't have any certificate, and now I click again, connect. Status is disconnected, and there's an error message saying that the required client certificate is not found. So this is basically the end of my demo. Thanks for watching.